Hey YouTube, this is Rugged Savior. Give me some more gameplay and commentary. And oh my god, this is Call of Duty Ghosts. This is a quick free for all, and I died quite a bit in the beginning. Not quite, like, I, died, I think like three times in a row. But other than that, I did pretty well later on. So, what are the good things about multiplayer so far? Well, the custom classes are pretty awesome. They offer the most amount of freedom I think I've ever seen in a Call of Duty game. I mean, I can equip any amount of perks. Like, as long as I'm within their, their, their uh, point values, of course. I can only equip, like, uh, 11 points worth of perks, and each perk has a different cost. So, in regards to that, it's the first Call of Duty game where I can have all the perks relating to speed enhancement or stealth or anything like that. It's amazing. Because in original Call of Duty games, you can equip maybe one or two perks, and that's it. You couldn't have any other perks within the same tier. But with this class, though, it's so much freedom given to you. Especially secondaries because now I don't have to rely on the launcher anymore since everything kill streak wise is based on the ground I don't have to look in the air and shoot down UAVs all the time with the launcher I mean this was such a common occurrence since Modern Warfare 2 all the way to Black Ops 2 Ugh, I always had to carry a launcher on me I couldn't rely on the pistol because if I didn't use a freaking launcher my team is screwed because of all those UAVs and helicopters flying in the sky, but still, thank god, I can actually use a pistol more often now in this game. And if there actually is some air support, like helicopters, that need to be shot down, I can easily destroy that with air superiority, with a, it's a support strike package, kill streak. Uh, speaking of kill streaks, yeah, I do like support. I personally used it to help my teammates. I didn't abuse the stealth bomber or whatever in Modern Warfare 3, but I like the option of having the strike packages back because it gives us more freedom in regards to how we want to play the game. And I know a bunch of people like specialists as well, so. Oh, what else? The some of the new modes are cool. Cranked is pretty neat. It's more emphasized on kill streaks, so definitely get a good team with you. Also, I like how domination has the ability to make an objective neutral if you capture half of it. So it therefore it grants more uh, what do you call it more merit towards trying to capture an objective even if you're trying to do it solo because even if you die and before you're capturing the enemy's objective you make it neutral and cut off their point gains which is actually pretty neat. So and let's get to the negatives or some things that can improve on. Now the custom games there's the lack of options is even worse to be honest. I mean if if you play infected you can't even customize the classes of the survivors and the infected. I hate that so much. You're stuck with bulldogs the whole time. Hopefully, the Xbox One version can patch this and maybe add more custom options since I hopefully think that the next-gen consoles will have more memory to support it. Uh, what else? The shotguns need a slight buff, especially the pump actions. Now, I know in the gameplay they look really good. I'm pretty skilled with a shotgun here, but... In other gameplays that I've actually had, I don't know if it's due to the connection or not, but the range on these things are pretty bad, even with the slugs, and they get a lot of hit markers. So, and it's plus, plus the, the map size is gigantic, so there's a lot of areas that don't suit the shotgun very well, so that's why I believe it needs a little range buff. What else? The inability to mute individual players. Now, this was patched recently, as you saw in, earlier in the video, but originally, if I wanted to mute somebody individually, I couldn't do it. The only way I could mute people was in a pre-game lobby, and if it was during the match, I had to mute everybody or turn off or mute everybody except friends. That's it. And I hated that so much. What else? Uh, the weapons kill really, really quickly. I mean, especially at close range. And uh, the, the, I think the first overpowered weapon I claim to be overpowered so far was the assault rifle called the MSBS. <laughs> that thing is ridiculous. And this also brings another good point. If the weapons kill so fast, then what's the point of hardcore? It feels more like hardcore than core, and there's less distinction between the two. So why even keep the game type in the first place? And the last thing... This is really important. I it's it I, it's more simple to have kill streaks now, but it puts a lot less emphasis on the objective because when I play kill confirmed, it's not kill confirmed anymore. It's called kill and bait the tags. That's all it is now. And no but there's no merit to getting the tags anymore. So I'm every time I play solo, I'm always getting between 30 to 40 tags per game. I'm not kidding. This is like this is like an on average, I get that many tags. Because no one wants to pick them up because they don't want to ruin their kill streak. And it's pretty sad to be honest. So, and again, this game's been out for about a week or so. So, if I have anything additional to talk about, I will. So, in regards to that, I will see you all later and have a good day, everybody.